Hello Gearsbots, my name is Peter, I'm with Sonderbund from Graz and this is our first product, our first software product, it's called Freialarm. It's a plugin available as VST, Audio Unit and as AAX Pro Tools and it's basically an equalizer but it's not just, just another EQ. Uh, we thought we'd use the equalizer interface as basis for you guys to be enabled to change uh, the room impression of a recording change things like picking sounds or hammer sounds of pianos in the entropy EQ and have the smart EQ attached to the normal equalizer bands that help you do your jobs quicker. So what's it about? Uh, the smart EQ is a kind of an assistant. He does the heavy work for you so he analyzes audio input for a certain time and gives you a suggestion what to do in order to make it sound better. So if you want to have a quick look, uh, in this sample it's a little jazz tune, it doesn't sound too good, it has no highs at all uh, and it's just 10 seconds of analysis and afterwards you get a frequency response like this. Um, and what you as a user can do is pick, uh, pick the filter reduce the bandwidth of, uh, of the suggestion, like, like using an average bell, uh, and check out what the smart EQ suggests, and afterwards you say, okay, I don't like this part, this one isn't that good either, very much like this part. Uh, yeah, so in the end, it's a method to achieve really astounding uh, results within 10 seconds or 20 seconds and it's perfectly suitable for every situation where, is, where you have no time for uh, time consuming uh, corrections of badly sounding tracks. Uh, this is only one feature of three. The next one is called proximity EQ. It splits the input audio in real time into a direct path and a reverberant path. So what you can do with the equalizer curve is adjusting the mix level. So keeping it at zero percent, you just have the original signal. If I increase it, if I increase the proximity, the source gets closer to me by simply decreasing the volume of the reverb that is in the audio signal. And in the contrary, if I decrease the proximity, I uh, I focus more on the reverberant part, part than on the direct part. So what I achieve with this is that I can uh, completely alter the room impression. I can make a concert hall sound like a living room. Or if I decide, okay, my microphone was too close, but I like the room it's surrounded by, uh, I can decrease proximity and it virtually uh, increases the distance to the source. So that's what the proximity cue can do. The third layer is called Entropy EQ. Uh, what it does is to separate audio into harmonic and inharmonic parts. Like for instance with the guitar, you have everything that's like picking sound, everything uh, impulsive, noise-like events uh, in the inharmonic part and the swinging strings in the harmonic part. So what's it good for? For instance, increasing picking sounds or decreasing them. Uh, here we have an example of a steel guitar that has yeah, quite some annoying picking sounds. It's simply, yeah, call it like this. If you're not totally uh, satisfied with the flat uh, result, you can every time use every filter parameter you have like in the standard EQ to modify this. Right. It's absolutely interactive, every three layers of it. Uh, and you see amazing results in very little time. Okay, very nice. Uh, where can people uh, find your demo? We have our demo online on our website www.sonable.com. All right. We have a little business card here. If you can focus this. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. We got a 14-day trial, okay. fully functional, and check it out. Okay, cool. Hope you love it. Thank you very much for the demo. And Thank hope you. you have a lot of fun here. Thank you. Same.